Now, about two weeks ago, I got a phone call from a guy called Michael Wilkinson, who introduced himself as the national sales manager for the UK for a company called Salmon. And I thought to myself, they make condensing pumps, don't they, for condensing boilers? Anyway, I said to him, oh, the condensing pump manufacturer, he went, kind of, we also make flue gas analyzers. So I thought, I haven't seen any of them lying around. So I was very intrigued. So he asked if he could send me one of their flue gas analyzers so I could have a play around with it. And would we be interested in actually selling them to gas engineers in the UK? So being one never to turn down an opportunity, I agreed for him to send me one. So. Here it is then. So let's get on with it and find out exactly what Michael has sent me in this lovely looking bag. Now Salmon do three versions of the flue gas analyzer to do the Psyker 030, the Psyker uh, 130 and the Psyker 230. And Michael has supposed to have sent me the Psyker 130. Now, if this bag is anything to go by, then this flue gas analyzer, what's in here, should be a doozy. So let's have a look in it. So first of all, how do we get in it? So there are two clips down here with the flap. And then there is a zip at the top. But before we open the bag up, as you can see, Look at that! There is a zip pocket in the front to store some goodies in there. I nearly forgot this pocket. So there's another pocket here at the front which has the user manual and the calibration certificate. There's also, wherever it is, another zip pocket here in the back. And there's more. There is a nice pocket here. And then there's a loop here, must be for a carrying handle. And also on the other side, there's another little pocket here for your little bits and bobs in with another clip. So, <laughs> very, 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 very well designed pack. Looks brilliant so far. So if you look at the top, what we've got here is, we've got another pocket in the lid. And if we unzip that, then inside here, there is a card with the QR code on it to be able to download the free app, which is available at the Apple Store and Google Play. So, we'll have a look at that later. So straight away, this is probably the best bag I've seen, to be honest. I can't think of any as good as this. Some people will say it's a bit big, but at the end of the day, it's a, to protect your analyzer. Because one of the things you guys don't really realize is the bag's not just there to look fancy and actually carry your stuff around. It's there to protect your analyzer from freezing in the cold weather, which we seem to get a lot of here in the UK. So let's have a look at the components he sent us. So first of all, Michael has sent us a standard probe which pretty much looks like uh, most of the other manufacturers but I don't know if you can see that yet but there's a colour coded o-ring on there again the bowl is away from the analyzer itself with the filter and the number turn valve so it's pretty standard like everybody else does 
and it's got the little stopper in there to seal off your glue integrity and your analyzer points. What else? It's also sent us a Bendy probe. So I believe you can have either or in your packs. So whatever you want, you can just buy a flexi one if you want, or you can buy a standard one, or you can have both. So, gross. what else have we got in this bag? So we have the tubes for doing tightness testing because this analyzer does tightness testing as well as analyzing. What have we got in the little box? We have, oh, printer. So we've got a printer, which comes with a rechargeable battery and it's charging cable. So that's good. And now shall we have a look at this unit, which has its own little place in there. I'll show you that in a minute. Are you ready? Da, 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 da. How's about that then? Only downside I can see, straight off the bat, it's coloured blue. Most of you know I'm a Man U fan. Can we not have it in red? Why does it have to be blue? Anyway, it must be the company's colours. So we'll take a closer look at the unit shortly, but it feels a substantial piece of kit. It's not massively heavy, but... Uh, it feels pretty good. It's got like a... I'm, I'm allergic to latex, so... I think that's silicone, not latex. So hopefully it is silicone, not latex. But anyway, if my hands start puffing up, you'll know why. What else have we got in this box? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's the handle. So, if we clip it on here. We'll do that later. And we've got a charging cable. So next we've got the charging brick. So there's the brick and it comes with all the different attachments. So the American, the European one and the UK charging things. These are great aren't they for when you go on holiday. So you take them with you to where you're going in the world. You've got a charging brick. So little tip for you. So that's everything out of the bag, but I just want to tip the bag up and show you what's in here. So this is where the analyzer sits here with on, on this little shelf. And again, there's the pocket at the front for putting your probes in. But if you lift that flap up, there's two little compartments underneath as well in this bag which you can put all your stuff in. Now, obviously you don't want to put things like drills and hammers and things in there because you want to protect this at the end of the day. But this is also kept at the top so when this is turning off it isn't sucking any dirt in. But I've got to say, that is probably the best bag I've ever seen for a flue gas analyzer. If you think any different, put it in the comments down below. So, that's unboxing. Shall we actually have a look at this little beauty and see how it works? Come on then, let's get on with it. <laughs> 